Welcome to Literature and Composition 10. My name is Mrs. Grebe and I am your English teacher this year. Working side by side with me is a team of teachers and academic support people who are all very excited to meet you. I thought that you should meet them. Hey, I'm Ms. Robinson. I teach Algebra 1 and Geometry. Hi, I'm Katie Thiel and I teach Honors in College Prep United States History. Hi, I'm Mrs. Steck and I teach High School Health, Safety and Physical Education. Hi, my name is Mr. Mack, and I teach United States History and World Geography. Hello, my name is Mr. Walton, and I teach Literature and Composition 9. Hi, I'm Mr. Hosey, and I will be teaching 9th grade college prep, Lit and Comp, and Honors Lit and Comp. Hi, my name is Mr. Paris, and I uh, just came back from a leadership retreat in western Pennsylvania, out in the Laurel Highlands. First day, when we get there, we do a caucus activity, which mimics the Iowa caucuses, but instead of electing an individual, what we actually do is we come up with a consensus uh, goal that we're going to solve a huge social problem. In this short video, teachers at Palks are playing a game of musical chairs to illustrate the problem of scarcity. The chairs represent limited resources and time, and the teachers represent unlimited wants. Picture the story taking place as if it were a movie. It was biting cold, but Francis didn't feel it. He packed the snow into a figure. He reached up and put his mother's plaid scarf and Susie's red ski cap on it. The buttons became eyes and the carrot a nose, but he didn't give it a mouth. He opened the umbrella and packed snow around it to keep it in the snowman's hand, at least until the first good gust of wind came. Make connections. Connect to what you read by relating it to your own life. For example, when did something like this happen to you? Does this character remind you of someone that you know? Or how would you react to this certain situation? When we look at the cross section of this long bone, you can really see the spongy bone or the cancellous bone. Notice the difference here between the compact bone here and the spongy bone here. For A is three, B is four, and C is two. So, number 12 says A minus C. A is three, so I put three in, minus. C is two. Well, we all know that three minus two is one, so that's my answer. Gosh, it's so cold! Hey, Juniors, it's Mr. Giuliano. Good morning. I'm Mr. Slider, and I'm the middle school coordinator. And today, I would like to talk to you about the middle school extension request policy. Hello, welcome to the lab. Today we're going to be working on our green versus conventional cleaner lab. And this is going to be an opportunity for you to practice your skills of scientific question writing, hypothesis writing, and prediction writing. Before Americans could create their new government, they endured years and years of political turmoil and revolution. Hi Mr. Logue. Playing Wii Tennis I see. Aren't you concerned, though, that you don't have the wrist strap on, the controller? I've seen a lot of TV screens broken badly by a controller flying through them. Okay. You know, while we're watching Mr. Logue play tennis, this is a good opportunity to point out some of the terms of motion that he's using. When he moves his arm straight out from the midline, he's abducting it. And when he moves it straight toward the midline, he's adducting it. Thanks for helping us demonstrate this terminology, Mr. Logue. Have fun playing tennis. 